Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. So recently we found out that the title versus title match at WrestleMania between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns is now going to be a title unification match. And this is crazy. This is going to change the landscape of WWE, especially for the short term. And of course, the last time that WWE unified the main titles was all the way back in 2013 at TLC when you had Randy Orton versus John Cena. Randy Orton had the WWE Championship and John Cena had the World Heavyweight Championship. Do you remember that title? That was absolutely bad badass that title. I always thought the champion looked like an absolute boss with that and I always envisioned Triple H with his entrance with that bright gold shiny belt. Um, it was absolutely awesome. I'd love them to bring that back. Uh, whether they will <laughs> remains to be seen and of course we know that Randy Orton become victorious that time. Um, it was a short period where the champion had the two belts. Remember Daniel Bryan held up the two belts, the iconic WrestleMania 30 and celebrated uh, and then it went to a single belt. I think it was Brock Lesnar that had it when it got debuted as a single belt as a WWE Championship. And of course, it was up until, all the way up until 2016, they had two belts, where of course the Universal title got introduced. Uh, crazy to think Finn Balor was the first champion. Um, sad that they never elevated him back to that level. Um, he really was absolutely on fire in 2016. Shame he got injured and it kind of jeopardized his main event career. Um, sad really because Finn Balor can give so much more than WWE are delivering him but sadly uh, Vince McMahon doesn't see him in that light and uh, we got to accept it. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal and I really want to get your thoughts and opinions on what you think about this. Like what do you think are going to be the changes because within WWE because there's definitely going to be changes. I mean if you look at it right also as well what's it going to look like? What's it going to be called? Are they going to go back to calling it the, uh, they could call it the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and bring back that gold element? I'd absolutely love that. Uh, when are they going to introduce it? Is it going to be at Mania or the Raw after or sometime after that? You've got to bet that they've got it ready. I think the scene is going to be, and I think this is going to happen, The Roman Reigns is going to win and, and hold that new belt aloft and The Rock's music hits. Or Cody Rhodes' music hits. And this could all happen the roar after WrestleMania. Uh, we don't know. Uh, again, that's why I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. But the plus sides, of course, to this is the champion is going to do double duty. You're going to see them on Raw and SmackDown. It's going to give the championship more prestige. It's going to mean more when somebody wins the Royal Rumble because there's only going to be that one title that they go for. I'm all up for that. I don't really, I'm not a fan of this Elimination Chamber business. I think it kind of ruins the tradition of the winner wins the Royal Rumble and goes on and main events WrestleMania with the main title. It, it keeps it simpler as well. And of course, it makes that champion mean more. I mean, Roman Reigns is going to look like an absolute boss if he wins at WrestleMania or Brock Lesnar wins holding that main single world title belt. We could also see unification in the women's side of things as well. I don't think they will, but they could. Um, are they going to merge the tag team titles as well in the men's and women's division? That remains to be seen. But there are some slight drawbacks to having one champion. There's less title opportunities for the mid to high card uh, wrestlers on the roster. And how dominant WWE are booking Roman Reigns at the moment. You're going to look at the main title and go, well, Roman Reigns has got it for another three years. Is it going to elevate anyone else? Of course, there's a counter argument to that, that people feel that the title that Roman Reigns didn't hold, the WWE Championship, didn't mean as much as the universal title in the sense of who's holding it. Roman Reigns himself. When Roman Reigns beat Big E at Survivor Series, to me, it was like, well, Roman Reigns is the dominant champion. That's the title that actually means more. I, I don't know how you felt about it, but that's how I felt. Um, but... Looking at it more positively, it's going to elevate the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship. So that is really going to mean more now. And I want to see mid to high card wrestlers actually battling for the Universal, oh sorry, the Universal, got that in my head now, the Intercontinental title and the United States and actually meaning something. You think back of the US title way back, you think of John Cena holding it just before he burst into the main event title scene. Uh, you think of Randy Orton holding the belt, losing it to Edge at Vengeance, but then going on at SummerSlam to beat Benoit for the main title. 
So almost using it as a springboard, it's a good thing if you see someone intercontinental champion because you know they're onto bigger and better things. And I'm all up for that. I think it's wicked. I think it'll work. Um, of course, there's always that downside of not many, as many people getting the opportunity to fight for a main, main belt. But if they bring those mid-card titles up a notch and make them mean a little bit more, then, then I'm all up for that. And I think that could be really interesting to see how the dynamic in WWE changes moving forward. But again, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on how you would book it moving forward. What would you do with the women's division in terms of the titles? And are you happy with having that one main title? And I'm mixed on this. It remains to be seen what's going to happen and what's going to be the outcome. Also, we can't forget the mention about the brand split as well. Could this potentially be an end to the brand split moving forward with these changes with the one title? It really could be. If you're gonna have one title, there's no need, and there's not two champions and two title belts, then do you need to have wrestlers on separate brands? And that'd be interesting how they could work um, essentially one roster. And I think that could propose some problems along the way. We could be seeing a lot of squash matches, a lot of confusion, um, where there's no separation, clear separation between the two brands. And people and fans like to pick between their brands as well. So seeing WWE as that one main product in Raw and SmackDown, um, of course, the build below in NXT. It, it'd be interesting, to say the least. But it has worked in the past, and it can work down the line. Um, again, there's always plus sides and downsides to anything but again that's where your opinion comes in and I'd love to hear it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video, really pumped for uh, Wrestlemania, interesting to see what's coming up with Cody Rhodes as well, going to do a separate video on that very soon but thanks so much for watching the video, be really appreciative if you could like the video, share the video, um, subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in another wrestling video.